say lock, I say lock too Screaming out Santana, can't forget the block too And when it's count the bank two C's Getting dressed, rocking two G's, nigga You say lock, I say Do or die, I'll stay in the house You know, fight, I'll stay in the house So I wouldn't go stay in the house with nobody I don't call myself a leader I don't like nobody saying I got boys Cause I don't like that You know, but somebody have to do the thinking, you know and uh, I'm the only one around, don't get high, don't smoke dope or nothing, so I figure I can do the thinking. The shooting started about, it was what, 76 on Melbourne? Yeah. In 76. You know, they stopped fighting, they just started shooting. You know, and it was something new to me. Man, you ain't never seen me without a pistol. Every day, every day I keep, man, stand. If it, if it wasn't nothing but a 25, I kept it in my hand. That's just the way shit was. Now these days, every time something happens, you have homies that say they gang banging, running after you for a gun. If you banging, you supposed to have you a pistol. Mm -hmm. That's just, you got to have you, if you gang banging, you supposed to have a pistol. No doubt. Man, are you all right? Yeah, I was just what thinking. thinking about it. <laughs> just thinking, man, because, you know, it just, it just too much, man. You know, it just, we at a point now, and of course, you know, I'm positive. I, you know, I get positive feedback on all things and, and anything. I, and I want us as a black community to be together and not have these differences because we have more in common than not in common. So. A lot of the difference was is that we felt we had a lack of communication. We was information poor. The moment we started communicating, we found out we liked Stutterbody. We found out we liked Stanley Pitts. You know, we like a uh, 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 put. You know what I mean? When you find out who they were as individuals, you know. But we find when the, there was no communication, you know. I look at it. I, I say this all the time, homie. Same motherfucker you trying to kill or you don't like, you know what I'm saying, probably would be your best motherfucking homie under different circumstances. You just haven't given yourself a chance to really understand and, you know, figure out who this guy is. You know what I'm saying? Because just like you said, me and Stutterbox, we used to try to kill each other on sight, all the time. Every time I seen him, I'm blasting at him. Or he trying to blast at me. But now it's like we fucking family. You know what I'm saying? And you know it's crazy when you think, think back to all the shit you done did and all the shit you done been through and all the motherfucking homies that you done lost that you, we know that we shouldn't even lost and we they shouldn't be gone because of this crazy shit we call gang banging that really ain't benefiting nobody no because if anybody could have won, I know we would have won. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know just shit. I it's know we would have won. Kill Hold on. Crazy, crazy thing I always trip off, man, is like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been no crip killer, you know what I'm saying? But you know, hey, at the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna let a nigga disrespect their hood nobody matter what it is. Man, we used to walk the parties in Park Village, walk the parties all over country. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, Manny Drive, Inhood, Southside and Santana used to be like this. Like this, homie. Without a motherfucking doubt. All them niggas used to be right over here on Willow. Lonnie, what's his name? What's Lonnie from Lonnie Drive name? What's his name? You remember that, Tanner? How'd he get that? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? All them motherfuckers used to be at Turtle Mama House and Bay Rob them house on Santa Fe or either on Willow and Killer Wayne them house on in the city, you know what I'm saying? But the same motherfuckers that we was with like this with now is the enemy and it's, it's crazy. You know, it's great, but if I see motherfuckers older, you know, they ain't gonna never disrespect. You know, it ain't nothing to love. It's just the youngsters be with the bullshit. You know, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? I know where they coming from because I've been there. I'm not only going to fight the top sign, but once the motherfucking enemy, he's enemy. You know what I'm saying? So I know where they coming from. You know, it's just that, you know, I just don't, I never have felt Crip killing Crips. I never felt it, but at the end of the day, a motherfucker gonna protect yourself. You know what? Some of my closest partners, man, was from Pan Air. When I went to school, which is now in the hood. I just went down there. You know, the school. Yeah, yeah, that was Pan Air's friend. Went to school with them, man. Man, them dudes had my back. We ain't never got into it with them dudes. You know? But somehow, I don't know what happened with the drive, you know, and, and the uh, uh, Kelly Parks or whatever. 
whatever, but us in the neighborhoods, we stay, to this day, we still tight, you know what I mean? And even the South Side, man, we, we had the dudes back, no matter what, because we, we, we went over there and rolled on them old hood niggas when they killed the homies from the South back in the day. We went over there and put the work in. You know, they was, they was like lollygagging, nigga. We went right over there and went to the Long Beach and the Mohood niggas and put work in. So y'all don't get along with no East Side Crips? We get along with everybody. Hey, the mother, I mean, I motherfuckers are doing that. I some pockets. Shit. Uh, Younger generation got a whole different yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You no, know, I ain't talking about y'all here. But going back to early, your earlier question with the Lone Beach, I have a little more intel on that as far as the Lone Beach and the, and the Compton Crip thing, right? That happened because of Frontwood, the homie AB, his brother was killed in Lone Beach. And that's what initially started that feud right there. And at that time, they was calling themselves the Willie Gaither Boys. Oh, they the wasn't Gaither. insane. Yeah. They wasn't. Right. They was the Willie Gaither Boys. Right. You know. And later on, they evolved and morphed into something else. But what was the Boulevard, Boulevard Mafia? We couldn't be. Boulevard was on the on the on the Boulevard, right? Boulevard. And they, they was close allies with the In Hoods, right? Yeah, no, they, you know how niggas extorted Boulevard really was from Compton. I was just getting ready to get Compton niggas started Boulevard. You know what I'm saying? It's, Boulevard always claimed Compton until this new generation. You know what I'm saying? Because the original Boulevards that started it, they was, they was from Compton. Right. So where you free? I didn't know that. You got a lot of footage in there. Yeah, just like yeah. Mom and Oak claimed Compton. Because original, most, uh, most of the original homies that started bombing out was from town. You know what I'm saying? And then by us, block, we was, we used to be like this yeah, with Tom, you know what I'm saying? So every time they went to jail, they claimed town too. You know, now I guess they done switched up and now they just claim in or whatever, you know, you know whatever they claim. But you know, they ain't, they don't roll with town like that. Uh, I don't know. Come some uh, little, some uh, little homies right here. You ain't trying to. Go on. What's this, uh, little doctor? <laughs> little homie right here. Another yeah. little homie. Tell me what your name is, homie. Man, 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 you feel me on the hood, Dreadhead Demon. You feel me for the SB on the team. It's that young generation, man. <laughs> I can't get. I can't get. All right, well, shit. Where your sons at? Oh, that's your son right there. You look different. That's right. His face kind of fat. Uh, yeah, me and him. Yeah. We got what? We got the brother. Yeah. Yeah, this is my son. This is Blue Melly. Yeah, they look just like. Real Melly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the original Melly. Everything else is a copy. <laughs> I got the name hot. You <laughs> might be right. You know? I'm retired. I don't do none of that. Positive. Uh, I'm positive, positive too. Right there. Here we go, right there. It's got love. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> and I told you, man, we gonna do this thing right. It's gonna yeah. go viral, man. All right, the low riders are kicking off, though, man. Uh huh. Low riders. I wish you would have told me how to have me. Yeah, I started to See, because had, of the parade. We had I like about twelve cars in the parade. They was right there. Yeah, they right there. 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 This right here, when when this come, when this like like shit ASAP. Hey, if I had the riders and shit though, shit, I put it up quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. This, this is the Jesse bar, you know what I'm saying? In order for a motherfucker to get in the M, big M, baby, you 
motherfuckers gotta be super clean, man. Yeah, that motherfucker, motherfucker right. If it ain't clean, you know what I'm saying? You got to see that, that plaque in the back window? You got to earn that motherfucker. You can't buy it. You know what I'm saying? You got to, this is something that earned. You know, you know this is what we do, homie. We low ride, baby. You know what I'm saying? I've been low riding since motherfucking 77, 78. And I ain't gonna stop. I don't give a fuck if I'm 100 years old. <laughs> I'll be on the, on the passenger side while my great grandkids drive. Tell them how we walked to, uh, oh, we went to the front hood. Remember when we did that front talent thing? Oh yeah, man. You, know you in the red you know, Kelly baby? Apple man, Five? Come through there in that motherfucking Five? Yeah, this motherfucker is 72. You know what I'm saying? It's 72, please. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker got that plaque in the back door. That's that majestic shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what we do, man. We low ride, man. You know what I'm saying? Low riding is not a hobby, not to me. It's a way of life. See that motherfucker, see that majestic Compton plaque in the back window. That's you know what I'm saying? Homie, That's rest all in peace right That's a little homie rest in peace right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a... Uh, that big there. decoy. You know, we can go over here and check out the Cadillac. You know, she a female. She in the club. You know what I'm saying? With the cat. Hey, I'll be back, yeah? Don't go blow no shit up, Lloyd. Yeah, right. <laughs> the world gonna turn these little Lloyd fix so nothing. You know, this is one of my, you know, female club member cars, Lisa. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? It's Caddy. You know, Queen is a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's a, she's a woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But whatever we do. Whatever the fuck we pull out, got to be clean. See that motherfucker black in the back window, baby? You know what I'm saying? It's got to be clean. The Jesses, baby, this how we do. You know, this is the only car right here, Bully. He from L.A. chapter, but you know the Jesses family is the Jesses. You know, it's all good. <laughs> Today, Santana is known for low riding. Ain't no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, you know, no matter what go down, somebody in the block gonna have a low ride. Because, you know, that's what we known for. You know, and we known for being Majestics, too. You know what I'm saying? We the ones that push the Majestics to what it is today. If it wasn't for Compton, you know what I'm saying? Majestics would have been, been extinct a long time ago. You know, I took the reins and pushed this motherfucker all the way over the top. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, now we got 39 chapters. You know, one in Japan, two in Canada, one in Amsterdam. This is back. That's how we roll. You know what I'm saying? But hey, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The block got a whole lot of history. You know what I'm saying? You know, a whole lot of history. They can make a movie about us, and man, that motherfucker go on forever and ever. Like a, like another, like a lot of other hoods would too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, Carl? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Oh, this your pops right here? Yeah, that's my nigga. What's up, I'm right there. That's my man. ass in the box. All right, all right. What's up, Yeah, he been ducking me for four days, man. <laughs> I should take flight on him. Never that, never that, oh shit. Me being second generation, I was Oaks Park boy. And uh, right here is where it's all started. I never hit my yard, bitch, I hit my oaks. Round four on whips, east side with my notes. I'm a two C rider, hit a selling for the Right, matter of fact, right where that slide is, is where Donald Duck, Norwood, and uh, Bartender 
went head up right there. Show me where uh, Red House is from Oaks Point. Red House, if you went up, if you walk down this alley, and you go straight up this alley and make a left, you right at the Red House. And Oaks Park is right around the corner. And all the homies just to walk up this alley and go up this way and go to the Red House and you right there. Bitch hit your ups, bitch hit your ups, bitch hit your ups, bitch hit your ups, bitch hit your bitch hit your bitch hit your ups. All right, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Red House. This is where Stanley Tookie Williams, Bob Simmons, it was Bob Simmons' boy's home with uh, baby boy, Kenny, and uh, Stanley Tookie Williams. And you had, he living here with Killer Carl. You also had Limpy, you had uh, Weasel, you had Tiny Man, Shotgun, and among other individuals that Sleepy, they all live right here in the Red House. It's, as you can see, it's now green, but uh, it's the same house. I remember it well. We used to eat free lunch here, go over to the Pine Terrace across the street. I'm trying to get to that address. Pine Terrace is across the street. They had the swimming pool. Took it used to act like a, he used to be the diving board. Everybody he used to pick everybody up and see how strong he could shot put us into the swimming pool. Yeah, that's what, what he did. He had them 25 inch arms. Matter of fact, the weight room was right there. That was glass at one time. All that was glass and all the weights were stacked up right there. And you could see any day, you pull up right here. Cat, his Cadillac be parked right here. He'd be in there pumping iron. Screaming out Santana, can't forget the block two. Ooh, yeah. And when it's content bank two C's, getting dressed rocking two G's, nigga. I'm coming. You say lock, I say lock two. Screaming out Santana, can't forget the block two. And when it's content bank two C's, getting dressed rocking two G's, nigga. I'm coming.